make money fast, free, and easy. You know, you want to get those new cars, new DLCs, new everything. You just want to basically own it all in GTA 5. Well, welcome to my channel. I'll be showing you guys tips, tutorials, money method, tricks, hacks, glitches, and uh, everything else to put money in your pocket. So stay tuned, enjoy, and welcome. I am doing a free shark card giveaway to all you guys who watch videos. It's my appreciation. I have a red shark card, blue shark card to give away. So be sure, drop a like on this video. Comment down below. I need money. I'm broke. Also, the console you're playing on. And then most importantly, subscribe. And uh, yeah, man, you could win a shark card. Enjoy the video. Yo, 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 what's up? Master Smiley here. Welcome, man. If you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And uh, we're like six days into the new year. I hope you guys had an awesome new year. I'm sure some of you got this game for Christmas, even though it's five years into it. <laughs> 2018. And uh, yeah, you guys are awesome. Well over 2,000 subscribers. About to hit 3,000 already. And uh, again, I just want to announce a winner. I did pick a winner for the shark card giveaway. Newbie shot. If you're watching, maybe you could post a comment. Let them know that you did collect your shark card. And uh, maybe I'll post your, I'll give you a shout out on Twitter too. So shout out to Newbie Shot. He's our shark card giveaway winner. He's the only one that responded back. So uh, congratulations. All right. So this next, this glitch right here, I guess you want to call it glitch, trick, method, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get some money. This is pretty new, not pretty new, but pretty old. And it's for you guys that are pretty new to the game. And uh, for some of my subscribers who are broke, you know, this will help you again, get you some cash. I'm sure I've showed this along the way down the road somewhere, but uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll share with you guys. There's a couple of them to show you, all right? This first one is uh, you just go to online jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created. You're going to go to missions and you're going to look for a mission called checkout time. And uh, this is solo, so you don't need nobody. You can do this with friends if you want, but... Uh, this is mainly a solo job and uh, just go ahead and start it up make sure you start it right away you'll get to the job mission here this the option screen just go ahead and purchase some armor and just start it right up you can switch it to hard if you want as you see like I did there and uh, you're also going to need a Karuma armored sorry I didn't mention that from the beginning Karuma armored and a tank or whatever kind of vehicle that you have that's pretty much armored out that can keep you safe from getting killed and uh, if you guys don't have a Rhino tank, I'm just showing you guys here how much it goes for. I think it's like a million. Yeah, 1.5 million. You can use this Rhino or you can use the new tank that came out for the Doomsday. Uh, this one right here, the TMO2 Conj or what you want to call it. So yeah, so once you got all those together, you just want to get in this job here. And... Uh, just make your way to the to the witness. You see, it says take out the witness. Just go ahead and chase her down. You see, there she wrecked, and it was pretty easy for me. Just go ahead, kill her, and uh, take her picture. Once you get through this part here, after you take her picture and stuff, you'll see how in the bottom left screen on the map, you'll see the uh, red and blue flashes. And you'll see the the law, the law coming after you. So right when that happens, you know, just bring out your phone, call up Pegasus. You can request your Rhino tank or whatever, you know, whatever you can use. Uh, I suggest just using the Karuma armored and the Rhino tank. So once you request that, just go to wherever it gets delivered. It's usually random areas where it delivers. But uh, if you don't have a Rhino tank and if you just have a Karuma and it's fully armored out, you can just do it like this too. You see how I'm just shooting them? And just using the crew armor to stay at a distance, you know, you can just use that. But if you do have a rhino tank, make your way to the rhino tank, jump on in like you see here. And uh, the goal here is to get five stars, okay? And try to just shoot the, uh, just take the law out, all right? Try not to get any innocence or any regular AIs and stuff. Just take out the law and try to get five star. 
and uh it depends how long you do this too young man you can do this for like 10 minutes 15 minutes i say about 10 15 minutes is good to do this you can earn a pretty decent amount of rp and some cash so as you see i reached five star so now you want to just hold down your interaction menu and you're going to request uh your karuma armored and then just wait around just keep shooting be, be sure you don't blow up your karuma armor uh, just keep taking out the law here and once your karuma armor shows up just go ahead whenever you feel like you had enough of uh, taking out the law just jump in your karuma armor and from here it's easy you're just gonna lose them you're gonna lose the law get rid of that five star you see that I got maximum RP there and just make your way go all the way to Menjozo's house and just deliver and uh, pretty decent amount of money it's enough money to get you started especially like I said you know you're new to this game I mean as surprising as it is this game been out for a while there's still new people I mean you, this game will never get old so just go ahead and finish that and you see the uh, amount of money here that you're gonna get you're gonna get pretty decent amount of RP now here, let me let it come up on the screen here uh, there you go, eighteen thousand dollars and three thousand RP. Um, the maximum you can get on that is like twenty. So the longer you do, again, the money will be. You'll get more money. <laughs> so this next one I'm gonna show you uh, is how to get a free vehicle. Okay, uh, we're gonna be spawning in custom Sand Kings, and uh, I suggest you get a four door cab. You see the four door cab here? Just get it off the street. You don't have to buy this. You don't have to buy it. Just come out here to the countryside you see out here and uh, just run around on the road and eventually one will drive up just grab it throw the guy out jump in there and uh, I suggest you come out here too to buy try to buy this uh, garage here uh, I think it's about 80,000 I'm not sure how much it was but I suggest you come out here and buy the garage because it makes it a whole lot easier you're gonna be doing a lot of driving so once you get this garage or any garage you want to use go ahead and park your Sand King XL inside the garage the one you picked up off the street and uh, drive it in and out of the garage and uh, if you do get this uh, property here it, it'll make things a lot easier but if you're out in the city you know you're gonna to have to drive quite a distance and I'll show you guys where this is at. This is way out here. Uh, Route 88 or something like that. 68 or something. But you see this path here? We're going to be taking this path. So that's why I was saying, you know, I suggest you get this property out here. It makes it a lot easier because you don't have to drive in and out of the city to store your vehicle. So once you got all that taken care of, you're just going to push start online jobs, play jobs. And uh, you're going to look for a mission called... Um, time to get away yeah that's what it was very popular um, mission just go to the option screen there you can turn it to hard if you want you can get armor if you want but just go ahead and start it up again this is solo you don't need people you don't need friends you can do it with friends but it's a solo and uh, once you start the job you'll spawn in with your truck and uh, just go down this path here I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so you want to go down this path um, we're gonna be spawning in custom vehicles which you're gonna be able to sell or you can keep them too maybe if you get like five of them if you spawn five of them you can keep one and uh, just customize it max it out and just store it and you can use that to spawn more of these custom vehicles and there is different ways to do this you can do this in a regular lobby too but you have to come to this area here right here at a certain time and uh, if you look at the clock on the time to get away it's always stuck at 12 so again this lobby is very popular so just follow the path there and you'll come to that bridge turn around halfway drive back towards that intersection once you get up on top of this hill here slow down and you'll see up there in the distance where that intersection is you'll see a custom sand king spawn right there you see there's a yellow one there's two different ones and I heard there's a third one, it's like a red, sort of reddish color. 
but I have yet to spawn that. But for now, you know, you can spawn this yellow one. Again, throw the person out and just drive it to your garage. Now, right here is where it's, you know, it makes it a whole lot easier to store it. See, so you just drive back to where I showed you. And if you have to drive back to the city, that's fine. Just drive all the way back to the city, store it. If you have to replace a vehicle, just be, be sure you don't replace over one of your expensive rides. <laughs> And then once you replace, jump back in that custom and uh, just drive back out. Remember, once you drive a, a vehicle in your garage, it already puts a tracker on there. So you don't have to worry about it. Just don't get it blown up. Otherwise, you have to look for another one. So once you park your custom truck in there, just drive back out. And now you're going to head back down that same path, turn around in that bridge and do the same thing. Go hit that intersection and you see how I spawned it a blue, sort of a sky blue. And this one is a little bit more expensive. But sometimes you'll just keep spawning the red, or not the red, the yellow and the blue. So it doesn't matter. And uh, just keep doing this over and over again. If you want to fill your garage up with this, it's pretty cool to you. But this does not bypass the 45 minute wait. You will have to wait 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, just take it back to your garage and just store it. You can keep one. You can sell the rest. Again, it does not bypass the 45-minute wait. And yeah, easy money. So you can do this and you can do that job I showed you. You can go back and forth. And uh, it should work out for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. But once you store that, you see how I just left the job. Just go ahead and leave the job. And uh, here's the price, 17000 18000 for the blue one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe for Shark Card. I'm Master Smiley. Go make some money. And a happy New Year's, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next GTA video. Later, gamer.